right hello everybody and welcome back for another tutorial i know this has been a long time coming but you guys highly highly requested this checkered bucket hat so i'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make it now the materials that i'll be using for today's tutorial are two different shades here of the red heart super saver and these are typically labeled as a number four medium or worsted weight yarn and for this bucket hat tutorial i will be using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook because i do want my stitches to be nice and tight. So to begin making this bucket hat we do need to start off with a magic loop or a magic circle. So I'm just going to crisscross my yarn like that, bring in my 4.5, reach in your 4.5 and from here go ahead and pull up two loops. This chain two here is at the start of our row and for the rest of this tutorial the chain two never counts as a stitch. So as you guys can probably tell by now, I will be using double crochets for this entire tutorial. So let's go ahead and start here with row one. For row one, I need to place 10 double crochet here into the center of my magic circle. So to make that double crochet, I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into the middle of my magic circle and pull up a loop. And now that I have three on my hook, yarn over, pull through two, and again, yarn over and pull through two. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and place another double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now that I have two double crochet, go ahead and enter the rest of your eight double crochet all into the center here. Coming up here to my last 10th double crochet, I'm going to finish up this stitch and grab on this short tail here. This is actually going to close up the center of our hat. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the very top of this chain two space that we started with. So like I said, chain two never counts as a stitch. I'm going to go ahead and pick up that chain two, yarn over, and pull through. So we're just slip stitching here into the top of our chain two and this is the end of row one. So to go ahead and start row two I'm just going to bring my secondary color over here and get ready to introduce it into the mix. For row two I need to be placing two double crochet into each stitch space. So we're going to severely increase the size here of this circle which means every two stitches I'm going to be swapping out my colors. So to start here with row two, like always, chain two, and this does not count as a stitch. For row two, I'm going to place two double crochet here into this very first stitch. So yarn over, insert, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So there is our first double crochet, again, right back into that same stitch, insert, pull up, yarn over and pull through two. And now that we're here at the end of our first two stitches, I need to finish out this double crochet with my new shade. So I'm going to grab my new color. It doesn't matter what color you pick. And now that I have two on my hook, I am going to finish out this double crochet with my new shade. So now that we've placed two double crochet into the very first stitch in the row, we're going to move on to the second stitch in the row here, and we're going to be using our new color. So again, yarn over and insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and place your first double crochet. I'm just bringing my tails along with me so that I can weave them in as I go. And again, we wanna place one more double crochet in the same shade into that same stitch. So yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And again, now that we're finishing out the next two stitches here, I'm going to swap back to my very first shade. So I'm going to be dropping the previous yarn and I'm going to pick up my new shade and finish out my next stitch. So this is what row two is looking like. Just go ahead and repeat this for the entire row. Here at the end of row two, I have one more stitch space left. So again, placing my two double crochet into that very last stitch. 
And here at the end of row two, I want to start row three with the same colors that I did previously. So I'm going to finish with that pattern and make sure that I change out my color again to my very first shade right there. So that is the end of row two. I'm gonna go ahead, find that top of the chain two space and slip stitch. So to start row three, chain your two. And now to start on row three, I need to be placing a double crochet increase into every second stitch. I'm gonna go ahead, yarn over, and find my very first stitch space. Insert, and place a double crochet. So there is my first stitch in the row. And now that we're moving on here to the second stitch in the row, this is where I need to place two double crochet. So I'm gonna insert into that stitch, place one double crochet, and again, right back into that same stitch space, place your second. And like always, we're gonna go ahead and finish out that double crochet by switching to our second color. Again, looking at the first stitch space right here, place one double crochet, And now looking here at the second stitch space, go ahead and place two double crochet. So there is my first stitch. And again, right back in, place your second. And before you finish, make sure you change out colors. So this is the pattern here for row three. Always place two double crochet into the second stitch in the row. All right, I'm almost done here with the end of row three. I have one more stitch to place to make that double. And now here at the end of row three, I'm just gonna stick with this secondary color and finish out the row like that. And go ahead, find the top of your chain two space and slip stitch row three closed. And this is what your hat should look like so far. So now we're gonna go ahead, start on row four. Like always, chain your two. To crochet row four, I'm gonna be placing the double crochet increase into every third stitch. So from the row prior, it was every second stitch. Now we're on every third stitch and so on. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. I'm gonna find my first stitch in the row right here and place one double crochet. Moving on, finding the second stitch in the row, place one double crochet. And now that we're here at the third stitch in the row, this is where I'm gonna be placing my double crochet increase. So I have one double crochet, and again, going right back into that third stitch, place your second double crochet. And now again, don't forget to change out yarn like I almost did. So let's go ahead and show you that again, finding that first stitch. Place one double crochet. Finding my second stitch, insert and place a double crochet. And now that we're here at the third stitch with this color, place two double crochet. So there's that first stitch, again, going right back into that same third stitch. And place your increase. And again, like always, after your increase, always make sure that you're changing out your yarn. So to go ahead and start on row five, chain two. And now the pattern here for row five is that we want to place two double crochet into every fourth stitch. If you guys kind of look closely, it's really easy to keep a track of the pattern. Your two double crochet increase should always be placed into the last stitch of the color that you're working on. So to go ahead and show you row five, like always, we're gonna place one double crochet into the first stitch another double crochet into the second stitch. Our third double crochet is going into our third stitch. And now that we're here at the fourth stitch place, this is where we're gonna place our two double crochet increase. So place one, and now right back into this same space, place your second double crochet. And like always, I'm gonna switch out my colors. So this is the pattern here for row five. Again, we're gonna place three double crochet in a row. 
There's one. There's two. And here is our third stitch space. And now moving on to that fourth stitch right here. It's the last stitch before we change out our color. This is where you'll place your two double crochet. I feel like I sound like an elevator music lady. But always change out your colors and just stick with this checkered pattern. So let's go ahead and start on row six. Like always, chain my two. And you guys have probably guessed it at this point. The pattern for row six here is that I'm going to be placing my two double crochet increase into every fifth stitch. So looking here at my first stitch in the row, place one double crochet. Here is my second double crochet. Here is my third. This is a very repetitive pattern, easy to keep track of. Here is my fourth stitch in the row. And now here at my fifth stitch, I'm gonna go ahead and place two double crochet all into that same stitch. So in case you guys couldn't tell, I'm gonna come right back in to that fifth stitch and place my second double crochet. And like always, change out your colors. Again, placing four double crochet in a row. Here is one, two. And now here at my fifth stitch with this color, place your two double crochet. So there's my first, and here is my second, almost forgot again. Make sure that you change out those colors. So this is the pattern here for row six. Again, I'm gonna go ahead, finish this up, mimic the same thing. I've just finished up here the end of row six, and of course I've slip stitched, and I made sure to keep my first color because I'm gonna start changing out. And let's go ahead and start on row seven. So for this row, it's going to be a double crochet increase into every sixth stitch. So let's go ahead and work that right now, placing one double crochet into that first stitch space, my second double crochet into my second chain space, my third double crochet in a row. Here is my fourth. Here is my fifth. And now here at my sixth stitch space, go ahead and place two double crochet. So there's one, insert, and here is two. And like always, change out your color. So now we're just gonna alternate that checkered pattern again. So this is the pattern for row seven. Go ahead and finish that up. Now for row eight, we're gonna change it up just a little bit, but just bear with me. We're actually going to continue with increases because we still need one more row of increases. So what we're going to be doing is placing four double crochet in a row with our first shade. And then into the last three stitches, I'm gonna work one double crochet, one double crochet, and into that very last stitch, I'm gonna be placing my increase. So to show you guys what that looks like, of course, I'm gonna chain two like always, and I'm gonna place those four double crochet in a row with my first shade. So go ahead, find your first stitch. There's my first, finding my second stitch space. There is my second double crochet. Here is my third double crochet. And now here at my fourth stitch, go ahead and change out colors. And this is where we're going to start adding our small checkered sections. So as you guys can see here, I still have three stitches left in this darker shade right here. So I'm still going to add that increase into that last space right there. So here, finding my very next stitch space in the row, place one double crochet into the second space, place one double crochet. And now here at that very last stitch space, I'm gonna go ahead and place my two double crochet increase. So there is my first and going right back in, there is my second 
stitch and I'm going to go ahead and change out colors again because this is how the checkered pattern is going to work. Every four stitches I'm going to change out my colors. We're going to place four double crochet in a row. So finding that next stitch, there's one double crochet, two double crochet, three, and here is my fourth. Always change out your yarn after your fourth stitch. And just like before, there should be three stitches left right here. So go ahead and work one, two, and then here at that third stitch space, go ahead and place your two double crochet increase. And again, now that we're here at that fourth stitch, swap out your colors again. So hopefully you guys can see that checkered pattern is gonna look really normal once we start working down the side of the bucket hat. I've just finished up the end here of row eight and this is what she's looking like. So from this point, it's gonna be pretty easy to kind of repeat and follow the pattern. So to start off row nine, I'm just going to be placing four of my first shade directly on top of that previous row. So we're just going to mimic the same colors and switch out at the same part. So there's my third double crochet and right here is my fourth. And here at your fourth, always switch out colors. So we've just made one little checker right there. And now that I have my second color on the hook into the next four stitches, place the same color. So here is my second double crochet. Here is my third double crochet. And right here for my fourth double crochet, because we added that increase, we have an even number to work off of. So there's my first little set of checkers, but this is the basis of what I have. And again, we're just going to be repeating the checkered pattern every two rows. All right, so I've just ended here the ninth row. And now again, I'm just gonna repeat the same exact pattern. Again, no increases, but this time I'm going to switch up the checkers. So here for row 10, chain my two, and into the first four brown stitches, I'm going to place my cream color. So here's that first stitch. One, two double crochet in a row, three double crochet, and here is my fourth stitch, switching out colors. And now here into the next four stitches, we're just going to alternate the colors. Here is that second double crochet. My yarn is being funky. Here is the third. And finally here at the fourth, go ahead and switch out colors. So this is what I mean by we're just going to alternate the checkers every two rows. So this is row 10. I'm just gonna repeat this same pattern. Again, every four stitches, change out your color and go ahead and repeat this same color pattern for one more row. And then again, after that, go ahead and switch your colors one more time and work two more rows with these first colors. All right, so I'm back, and as you guys can see, I have completed a pretty good portion here of the hat itself. So I've got the center worked up, and I've just worked down the side of my bucket hat. So to go ahead and start working on row one of the brim, I'm going to be placing an increase into every seventh stitch. Of course, start off by placing one double crochet into your first six stitches. So for the most part, you're just going to follow the same checkered pattern. Here is my third stitch, and here is the fourth stitch. And again, we wanna keep with that checkered pattern, so I'm going to switch out my colors every time I see that color transition right there. So there's four double crochet. Now with my new color, here is my fifth. Here is my sixth double crochet and right here for my seventh I'm going to go ahead and place two double crochet and again we're going to keep with that color 
And because, again, we want this print to continue to match, we don't want to change out too early, I'm going to go ahead and start my count all over. So right here, this is going to be my first double crochet. And again, now that we're coming up to that color change, switch out your yarns. So that's one, two, three, four, five double crochet. And again, we're coming up to that color change. So switch out colors. That's five, six double crochet in a row. And now here at my seventh stitch, go ahead and place your two double crochet all into that same stitch. So again, from here, now the count is gonna start all over. So I'm just gonna repeat this pattern again of adding that increase into every seventh stitch. But let's just go ahead and finish out this row. Again, because we only have three stitches left, you don't need to worry about an increase here. And of course here to start row two, don't forget to switch back to your original color. So let's go ahead and start working on row two of the brim. So like I said, we're gonna place two double crochet into every ninth stitch. So there's one, two, three, and four. And again, change out your colors here for five, six, seven, eight. And now here at my ninth stitch, I'm going to go ahead and place those two double crochet. So there's my first and again, right back into that same stitch for my second double crochet. And again, now that we're coming up on that little checkered change, I'm going to swap out colors and let's go ahead and repeat that pattern again. So work eight double crochet in a row. And again, here at my ninth stitch, place your two double crochet with the same color. All right, so I've just finished up row two here of the brim. Some of these checkers start to get a little bit larger than the other. So we are going to start row three here with the intent of trying to match the size as best we can for each checker. So let's go ahead and start on row three. I'm gonna start off with my new shade and chain two. For row three, now I'm going to be placing my two double crochet increase into every 11th stitch. Again, work 10 double crochet in a row and increase on your 11th. So here's two, 10, and again, change out colors because I'm coming to that end of that checkered pattern. And here is my 11th stitch. So go ahead and work two double crochet increase right here. Again, work 10 in a row and increase on your 11th. Here is my ninth stitch. Here is my 10th. And again, here at my 11th, add two double crochet. All right, so I've just been working this third row and I'm starting to come up on one of those funky sections. Here is going to be my 10th stitch. And as you guys can tell right here, I'm actually supposed to change out colors. And if I were to work that double crochet increase into this 11th stitch right here, we're actually going to be adding a ton of increases into this one row right here, whereas this row is pretty small and could use more increases. So what I'm going to do is alter the pattern a little bit right here and actually go ahead and place my two double crochet increase right here into this 10th stitch. So like I said, we're just going to alter the pattern just a little bit because I don't want one row to become too wide where the other row is a little bit too small. So like I said right here, I've added that two double crochet into the 10th instead of the 11th. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and start that pattern over. And again, right here, this is gonna be my 
10th stitch but if I were to continue on and place that 11th stitch increase right here this section is going to become way too wide whereas this is going to be skinny so again right here I'm going to be placing my two double crochet increase into the 10th stitch instead of the 11th so just try to be smart about how you're placing your increases again we want these little sections to look as symmetrical as possible and to start working on the fourth row of the brim the final row of the hat again i'm going to chain two and now for the fourth row i'm going to place my double crochet increase into every 13th stitch and again this is kind of just tentative if you need to place your increase a little bit early a little bit late however you would like it just try to get these sections to match up let's go ahead and work that double crochet increase into every 13th stitch if possible 11 12 and here for the 13th place two double crochet so i'm going to go right back in place that increase and then the count starts over again. So continue, here is one, two, change out colors, 12. And now here for my 13th stitch, place two double crochet. I'm almost done with the very last row. I just wanted to show you guys it worked out perfectly. I haven't had to do any funky increases on this row. I have really just placed the two double crochet increase into every 13th stitch. If you guys want to, you can just finish off with this cream color, but just for effect, I want to slip stitch my brown into my brown. So that is what I'm going to do. So I've just gone through and pulled through that very last stitch with a slip stitch. I've cut off my yarn and because you guys are always asking, I'm just going to quickly show you guys how I weave in my ends. So I'm just going to take one of the colors and my goal with this is to match this yarn and weave it in on this side and likewise I will take this yarn and weave in my end through the same color. So let's go ahead and bring our yarn through our darning needle. And now I'm just going to bring this yarn down, straight down through one of the double crochets, like so. And then I'm just going to find the base of my double crochets right there and just weave it through here. This is on the inside of the hat. So that's one way. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and go back this direction so i'm going to drop back down again through my double crochets and i'm going to weave it back through here on the base of these double crochets so just weave it back tangle it up in there so that the ends don't come out so now at this point i can go ahead and cut off my spare yarn so that is one end weaved in. I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the process. Mm -hmm. 